Weather Authority forecast from WTAJ. Well, bearing the elements, that's what the Great Lakes region is basically expecting to deal with. With this upper air pattern, just notice this cold Canadian air mass. Caitlin was talking about a warm lake temperatures as lake temperatures from Michigan, Superior, Huron, down into uh, our region, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Uh, it's seeing lake temperatures in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. This is rather warm. And again, a much colder air mass gives you the lake effect snow machines. And Mother Nature has them cranked on for sure. And we've seen these lake effect bands continuing on. I mean, we're going to zoom in here in just a moment, but through areas like Ashtabula, Geauga County, and then continuing on into northwestern PA, starting to get into portions of our viewing area within Jefferson and Elk, Clearfield County, picking up on some precipitation from the lake effect snow machines. Let's take a look outside from our friends into Conneaut Lake, Pennsylvania, within Crawford County. This is our friends from our networks in Erie, Pennsylvania, just to the south of uh, Erie County. But Conneaut Lake, a very popular vacation destination into northwestern PA. Great wine country as well. Similar latitude as the, the wine country in France, if you were curious. Uh, fairly high amounts of uh, snow and lake effect snow continuing on with uh, road conditions right now starting to turn uh, a bit more in the way of snow covered not impassable just yet but the threat for snow returning into our region let's localize this over the next couple of days we are keeping an eye on our next weather system that returns the chances for some white precipitation wintry weather Wednesday night to Thursday. We'll show you future track, but a general one inch or so, perhaps locally higher mounts into the hilltops through the Laurel Highlands can't be rolled out. Although we are forecasting about an inch, I don't expect that to stick. It's more so on the high grassy areas, perhaps the car windshields, especially north of the I-80 corridor. Let's talk temperatures, though. It's cold enough and conducive to see. We're in the teens and 20s as we step out the door tomorrow. Factor in that wind another 5 or 10 degrees colder, and we don't see much in the way of reprieve whenever it comes into the chill. Although Wednesday, tomorrow, we could be back in the upper 30s. That's positive. But that could actually factor into some uh, hassle about the potential rain and snow mixing in. I'll show you a future track with how this all plays out. And again, let's, we're gonna walk through this rather slow. Here's some of those lake effect snow bands impacting areas of the I-80 quarter through Clearfield and Jefferson County. Again, an additional inch or so through Thursday morning can't be ruled out. And I can't rule out a few pockets of sun, <coughs> excuse me, still dealing with that tickle cough, my apologies at least through Wednesday morning. But notice as we head into Wednesday afternoon, we start to see uh, the approach of some rain and snow showers trying to mix in. And I would not be surprised if it's that rain, heavy, wet snow mixing in at times just because that cold air is around, but temperature is going to be just above the freezing mark. So we'll have to keep an eye on that through tomorrow evening's commute. But Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when we can expect to see that additional inch or two with the potential for additional snowfall as we head into our Thursday. But I really want to drive home that it's going to be rather windy as we head into your Thursday with wind gusts approaching the 40 to 45 mile per hour threshold. We'll mix in sun and clouds into the weekend, getting back into the 40s, keeping an eye on rain shower potential as we head into your Monday.